What comes to your mind when you think of a disease? A sneeze? <coughs> Physical contact with an infected person? Contaminated food? Or contaminated surface? Well, not all the diseases are similar and not all of them spread from one person to another in form of an infection. Yes, we are talking about non-communicable diseases, also known as non-contagious diseases and non-infectious diseases. So, what are these exactly? NCD, non-communicable disease, is a disease that is not transmissible directly from one person to another. In fact, it is instead a combination of all genetic, physiological, lifestyle and environmental factors. Let us also look at its various types now. The most common non-communicable diseases are of four types. Cardiovascular disease, cancer, chronic respiratory disease like asthma and diabetes. So, let's talk about cardiovascular disease. They affect the structure and functioning of the heart. Poor diet and inactivity can cause blood pressure, blood glucose, blood lipids and obesity. While these conditions can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, some people are just born with these. Let us look at an overview of its types, that is heart attack and stroke. A heart attack happens when something blocks the blood flow to your heart, so you cannot get the oxygen it needs. Fat, calcium, protein, inflammatory cells build up in your arteries to form plaques which do the job to block the road of your life. As a result, heart muscle in that area starts to die. Death of part of your heart muscle is called a heart attack. It's also known as a myocardial infarction or MI. Whilst a heart attack happens when your heart doesn't receive oxygen, a stroke happens when something slows or blocks the blood flow to your brain because of a blocked artery, a leaking or brushed blood vessels. After just a few minutes, the starved brain cells begin to die. Symptoms may vary from discomfort in your chest to choking, sweating or fatigue, and unconsciousness. Cancer. It is an abnormal growth of cell in any tissue of your body. It can affect people of all ages, socio-economic status, genders and ethnicities. It is the second most common cause of death from NCD globally. There are more than 100 types of cancer, including breast cancer, skin cancer, lung cancer, clone cancer, prostate cancer and lymphoma. Some cancer cannot be avoided due to genetic risks. However, 30 to 50 percent are preventable. Symptoms may vary depending on the types of cancer and its medical treatments may include chemotherapy, radiations or surgeries. Third, we have chronic respiratory disease or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which basically cause difficulty in breathing. These are a group of lung disease which block airflow to the lungs. The symptoms mainly include coughing, wheezing or shortness of breath. While these diseases are incurable, they can be managed with medical treatments. Are you a fan of sweet foods, a lot of fruits and high caloric foods? Well, you might have to say no to them if you are diagnosed with this. Yes. We are talking about fourth and the last disease on the list. Insulin in our body acts as gates to enter and absorb glucose. However, when there is an absence of insulin or inability of body to use insulin properly, body see rise or decline in blood glucose levels leading to diabetes. Diabetes are the disease that can cause too much sugar in the blood. It can result in too increased in hunger, fatigue, weight loss, loss of energy, etc. Type of diabetes are type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, pre-diabetes. And depending on its types, the diagnosis and treatments differ. Here are some facts. 
related to NCDs. NCDs account for almost 71% deaths every year globally. More than 10 million of all these deaths, that is 80% are premature, that occur before the age of 60, which occur in low min middle income countries. Cardiovascular diseases account for most NCD deaths, followed by cancer, respiratory diseases, and then diabetes. Tobacco kills more than 8 million people each year. 38 million children under the age of 5 were overweight and obese in 2019. NCDs are not just a health problem but a development challenge as well. COVID-19 around the world has affected people with NCD the most and maximum deaths have been counted by the sections of people having NCDs because these diseases affect your immune system a lot. After the long discussion, are NCDs only something to be scared of? No, most of them are treatable. Heard about the celebrities and other people who have been cured of cancer and now live a healthy life? Yes, this could be possible because of medical treatments. What are the risk factors and is it preventable? Well. The answer is yes, it is not impossible to get rid of NCDs. In fact, World Health Organization has introduced many agendas and developed a global action plan for the prevention and control of NCDs 2013-2020, which includes total 9 global targets that has a greatest impact on the global NCD mortality. The risk factors include unhealthy use of alcohol and tobacco, unhealthy eating choices, lack of physical activity, either due to prolonged sitting or sedentary lifestyle. So what should be done? Choose an active, healthy lifestyle. Always take the stairs. Instead of escalators, say no to unhealthy food and have fresh fruits or fresh vegetables etc. Tobacco and alcohol are just killers. Like they don't even provide any kind of benefit to your body. So what's the point in consuming them? So make sure you get rid of it before any life risk. And if every measure given here is taken, one can easily be safe from NCDs. Let us practice a risk factor distancing and NCDs won't be scary anymore. This video was presented by Zoology Department of St. Beats College, Shimla.